Hello everyone, I'm Rose Mewson and welcome to my studio vlog number 13. I am currently having a cold and that sucks. <laughs> Haven't done very much, basically just surviving. I am still fighting to breathe as you can see and um, yeah, a lot of snacks but let's not talk about that. <laughs> <clears throat> and now you are zoomed very much into my face. What? That's not the right direction. Hello. I hope you like the look of my lips. <clears throat> this also means I haven't edited anything from the previous studio vlog, so I don't know how long that is going to take. It's really frustrating. I love being productive and I love looking good and that's just everything I can be when I'm sick. Uh, and even though I don't think I'm looking that bad, to be honest, except I'm starting to look like Rudolph, but sitting up my hair is just my best friend when I'm looking disgusting. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this cold is going to take me to get over, but hopefully I will get back to editing very soon. I just realized it's the 1st of November. Can you believe that? We just started November. October is done. I hope you all had a great Halloween. Mine was definitely not the best I've had, <laughs> but I'm still alive, so I'm grateful. And now that we have stepped into November, it's time for us to design some November designs. And hopefully I will get to that soon when I'm fresh. But for now, I will sleep a lot and just get better. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, sweetheart, did I forget to fill up your water bowl? Should we do something about it now? Yes, I think so. <laughs> so you're just sitting there in the water bowl, aren't you? Begging me to fill it up so you can drink something. But first of all, sweetheart, I need you to get out of the water bowl. Here, that's good. There, now I can give you some more to drink. I will get it back to you, don't worry. You guys can look after her while I'm gone. Get some more water. Oh, what did you do, honey? Well, that was everything for me and Pearl tonight, so uh, I will talk to you guys later. Pearl, can you say goodbye? No, not that way, this way. Look in the camera. It's right here. Can you say goodbye? Well, I don't know what that was, but I guess we will talk to you guys later. Oh, thank goodness. I'm finally alive again. Which means we have finally come to the time we've all been waiting for. Which is starting to creating the November bundle. I did think about what to do for a pretty long time. I thought about what I like to do in November. I thought about what other likes to do in November. And then I thought, oh, I have seen all these videos with people making these very delicious foods and I want to be able to do that too. So that was the time it hit me that maybe that should be my bundle theme delicious food. And if I should connect it to November, I think most people start to comfort food, comfort food, comfort eating more, at least for the countries where it's getting colder. I mean, if you're in spring, I am jealous right now, even though I do love winter, spring is just more inspiring. At least for me, maybe you love winter, maybe I should just get better at getting warmer clothes 
there's many solutions to this and I could talk a lot more about it, but let's instead start creating. It was actually this drawing that inspired me into the whole cute drawings I'm doing right now. Before that, I tried to do a lot more complex and manga-ish uh, style, which I still love to do and I want to do for my comic, but when I just have to do and tell my short stories and daily drawings, detail work is just not a good combi. So one day I sat down and decided, screw it. Screw my detailed deep drawings. Now I just want to draw cute food. And I did that and it evolved to the style I have today. So I'm glad I did that and of course I still want to include some of my very beloved characters but the overall focus for November is going to be delicious food. And I do say food but to be honest I mean snacks and mostly cakes. Sweets. I think you're getting what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So even though a burger can be delicious, my thoughts are more like a cute cake, a cute pancake, you know, all that very common Japanese cute fluffy food. But who knows, maybe I get inspired to do something else. Anyway, since I'm not this practice drawing these cute sweets, I will first of all try to find some inspiration which I can take inspiration from. That was a bad sentence. <laughs> I have made sure that my pen just got loaded, so it's ready to be used. I've just sampled a lot of delicious inspiration and is now ready to do some brainstorming.
So this illustration took a lot longer to deal with than I thought it would and I'm actually not finished yet but I have reached the limit I can handle for today. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks super cute. This is of course, um, as you can might already guess, a postcard design. So I will most likely work on this tomorrow and figure out what to do about this so we can in the end print it out and see how this would look as a postcard. But now it's time for me to eat some dinner because I am so hungry. <laughs> I just really wanted to finish this piece as much as possible because I just think it's turned out so cute and delicious. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay, so it's not the next day, but I decided to come on the video anyway because I have something to say. Or rather, something I think is worth celebrating, which haven't been celebrated yet. And the motivation came from me just finishing a client work. They were my first client and I only got them because of my dad. So it's not that special, yet still special. <laughs> And what I did was making this brochure design for them and then they now needed some adjustments to fit it to a partner they have, I think. And I said yes to the job, even though inside I felt, uh-uh, 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 I don't want to. Because I found out that designing banners and brochures are just not as fun as illustrating for me. But at the same time I need money and experience, so I said yes. All in all, I did have fun. <sighs> Two seconds, I just need to change the batteries. And we're live again. Did you miss me? Anyway, back to the talk. Let me just put you on the table because my arm is starting to hurt. Okay, so here is my experience working with one client so far. <laughs> In the beginning, I had this idea that I would just make these amazing designs and they would be like, oh, thank you. And then the job would be done. No, 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 no. You see, the problem with design is there is no one solution. It's not logical. It's not like math where there is one answer and that's it. No, design is like, I think this looks good. Well, I don't. Oh, okay, so what should I change? I don't know, it's just, no, it's not good. Make it better, May but... <laughs> This was, by the way, not my experience, thankfully. It was more like sending the design, saying, oh, well, now that we see it, let's change this. So it was more the words and the information in the design, and then there was grammar mistakes and a lot of that. So I had a lot of back and forth. And to be honest, I in the end was just like, when are they going to feel satisfied? That was my feeling. But in the end, when I do get the email saying, thank you, we are satisfied, let's end it here. And I am just silently having a party inside of me. <laughs> it's just still pretty amazing to help others and see your product in the end being used. So after working with them the first time I knew this is my going to be a lot of back and forth. And yes, it was. And I once again thought, why? Why am I doing this? Will they ever agree to the design? And luckily, they did again. <laughs> it just takes some time. But the point to all this rambling is that I did it again. I just finished it. He said yes to the design. And I am feeling like a champion. And the other thing I haven't mentioned at all, sorry if I made you dizzy right there, <laughs> is that I never got to celebrate that I finished October. I have tried for three years, failing the first two years, and now my third time, I freaking did it. I freaking finished October. I told myself it was impossible and it was just this weird challenge everybody tried to do every year and everybody is miserable and never do it, but I did it. It was a struggle sometimes, but I did it. And that's just why it feels so much more great to actually finish and complete it. And with that said, with these two kind of big deals, I think I deserve a sticker. So let's go and put a sticker in my bullet journal. 
I have also been pretty good at doing my daily highlights, as you can see. So, which one should it be? Hmm, I'm in the mood for a cocktail, so let's go cut that out. Okay, now it is the next day and we are once again meeting in the silver because my boyfriend are currently working on a pretty big school project. So he needs the studio and is talking a lot, which is annoying for us. So the sofa was for now my best option, which is not too bad if you ask me. I have been sketching some different ideas for what to do with the last corner and I've decided to do an ice cream. You know, like this one. So that is what I will be working on now. So we can afterward print it out. I'm so excited! Okay, so here is the result and I think it looks delicious and I am so happy. And I'm also really glad I got to practice drawing cute and delicious food. Something I did learn from this experience was that I have for some reason always thought that my line art should be the same type of brush. So I've always tried to draw either with a typical normal HB brush <clears throat> so normal pencil like using a pencil in real life or this more digital very smooth um, outline and I didn't like it when it was totally pencil and sometimes I feel like it's missing something with the very clean line so with this I actually for some reason first discovered it now that I could use pencil lines for some of the things and more smooth lines for some of the other outlines. So that's what I did for this illustration and I think it's actually a pretty good combo which I have been missing all the time. So for the pancake I used the pencil brush to make it look more soft and fluffy and for harder things like uh, the glass here I used more clean lines. So it's kind of also a way to show and illustrate how soft or how hard or clean or whatever the material is. But now we have the first item for the November bundle and now we just need to figure out what the other thing should be. I don't know, what would you guys like to have if it contains something sweet? I did think about a sticker sheet with a lot of cute mini cakes, but it's just not something I will be able to make with the equipment I have right now. And it is an expensive thing to buy from a manufacturer, so I don't think it would be an idle product. So if I think about it, my options are a big sticker, maybe an acrylic charm. I've seen people buy those, so I think it would be possible to buy and sell to you not too expensive. A pin design could be an option. 
maybe. No, I think, no, a pin and a postcard is too expensive. They can be together. So for this month, a pin is not an option. What else? Well, I can't think of anything more yet, but please let me know in the comment of awesome products you think could be fun to include in a bundle. Ooh, maybe a designed mug. Again, not with a postcard, that's too expensive, but for another month, a designed mug could maybe be pretty good and fun to do. But let's stop the brainstorming for now, and now it's time for me to do some grocery shopping so I can get some dinner to eat. Tomorrow I'm going to a birthday party, then I'm going to visit my family Sunday, so I'm not sure when will be the next time we talk, but nonetheless, I'm excited to see you again. Hello guys, so here we are at the same spot on a Saturday night in the same clothes as yesterday. Isn't it wonderful how something in life sometimes stay the same? I hope you're not getting bored. The birthday party I was invited to was sadly cancelled, so instead I decided to try to be productive. I did get to spray paint some wooden leaf and snowflakes. I did film the whole process, but for some reason I just didn't like the outcome and the music and it just felt wrong, so I kinda deleted it. And now we're here talking instead. After being pretty productive, I then made some lunch, sat on the sofa and fell asleep. And now I'm just feeling exhausted and overwhelmed, if that even is a word. So instead I decided to sit down and watch some YouTube videos while drawing on my iPad. Hopefully have something to post on Instagram because it is a few days since I last posted. But I do not want to pressure myself too much because at the moment my goal is to be productive and active on YouTube, be productive and active on Instagram, be productive and active in school, learn about graphic motions because I don't learn about that in school and I hope that can help me get a job, find a good drawing style that could fit for a children's book so I can do those for a portfolio and then hopefully get some job doing some children's books. I want to look pretty, I want to stay healthy, I want to have a pretty home and I want to illustrate my own story with lots of details. So, I don't know how I will be able to manage all of that, but the best start is to not stress about it and be overwhelmed so you not do anything at all. And I also know it's not possible to do everything at once, so I need to prioritize what I want to do in what order. But enough talking. It's time for the real reason I decided to start this video. Ho ho ho, Santa came early this year. For me, not for you. Sorry. I just decided it was time for me to support some different artists, but I'm not rich, so I could only buy a few items from each person. But I thought a little help is better than no help at all. And I also just find it really fun to open stationery together with other people than just myself. Sharing a happy moment is just so much more special when you're sharing it together with another one. Okay, let's open them up, but first I need a scissor. Ooh. Okay, so the first package is this envelope and the person has the little logo on, but not their specific name. And then this cute little doodle. It's adorable. Aww, so first of all, we have this very cute little note. So I got this paper with some doodles on, mostly for support, I think, but it's still very pretty. And then we have the sticker sheet, which I ordered, which is just these cute stand illustrations. And I just think they're so pretty and I really want to do something similar one day. But only when I eventually have enough money to buy something to cut my sticker sheet. And here is the person's information. Oh my god, guys, can we please just appreciate this very cute cat illustration? It's so cute. Okay, so the next thing I grabbed was this pink envelope and there is some, um, a few things on the front, but not too much. But this also means I have no idea who this is from. Let's open it up to find out. Okay, so this is actually from a person who does some very, very pretty illustrations and I would love to buy some more from her, but again, I don't have a lot of money. 
So I decided to get this bee sticker and it's so pretty and you can just see she is good with colors. I mean this is totally over my level of color knowledge. And I also received this cute little note saying thank you. I did not get any business cards so this is the artist's name. I will by the way also link all the artists down in the description. Next I got this big brown envelope. And the person's name stands here, but other than that, I have no idea who this is from either. <gasps> okay, so in the front we have a little thank you note. And once again, a super cute cat doodle. Okay, so what I ordered was this print. And it's just so adorable. I had, I had to buy this one. And then I also got this freebie. Look how cute it is. And it's also pretty big as well. I know this person also do some very, very cute illustrations for her patrons each month. Again, I would love to join it, but I just don't have the money right now. <gasps> oh, I just discovered that the thank you note also has this super cute illustrations on the back. Look how cute it is. It looks so happy. Okay, the next one, yay! And this one, I do know who it is because of the illustrations on the envelope. And also here on the front, look at that cute bee illustration. And I would really, really love to buy an illustration from this person, but every time I'm like looking at my wallet and saying, no, I can't, I can't afford it. So instead of an illustration, I bought a sticker because that is just much more doable when it comes to my very low bank account. So we have a little thank you note and this very, very pretty postcard. So I kind of got an illustration anyway. I feel very thankful. Okay, so here's the thing I actually ordered and it's this very cute sticker and She's also amazing with colors and is my biggest inspiration when it comes to finding my children's book illustration style. And it seems there is no business card, so this is the artist I am talking about. Next we have this brown envelope and I actually know this is containing some washi tape. Because no, I don't have enough washi tape already. Ugh. Just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, so here we have the first washi tape design and it is autumn themed, as you can see, with a lot of leaves and such. And then we have this one, which is also very pretty and I am planning on to using it for a bullet journal theme, maybe for December, maybe not, you know. It kind of had to be Christmas themed, so maybe, maybe January would be good. So very happy about these and this is the person you need to search for to find them. Then we have this box with a very cute sticker on it. I do have a theory who this is from but I'm still not sure. Okay, yes, so this is from OK Doodle and I ordered some more from her because she just has some very, very lovely supportive things. So this is the look of the inside. First, we have one little package with her logo on. So first of all, we have her awesome human pen, which I have been thinking about buying for a pretty long time. So I'm pretty glad I finally decided to buy it. Then we have another little bag, which is containing a few items. This is also an item which got my attention from the first day I saw it, which is this sticker saying mixed feelings and then all the different feelings you can have I mean, I can relate to this sticker so freaking much. <laughs> this, this is my life. And then at last, also this self-caring postcard saying, life is tough, but so are you. And I thought it could be nice to have this hung on my wall. And here is her information. And then we have this envelope. And the only reason why I know who it is from is because it's from Japan. And there is only one person from Japan which I have been bench watching for the last few days. And that person is Love Soup. So first of all, we have this thank you card. And the thing I decided to get from her is this very cute pin design. 
and this is where you can find her. The last thing is from Redbubble and it started out me buying one sticker design from a specific person and then it evolved to me buying some more cute stickers from some artist I don't know who is but I like the stickers so let's open it. Hmm, I never bought from Redbubble before but how it works apparently is that I got this sheet with the sticker designs and this is the person who I wanted to buy from in the first place. I mean, look at this cute cat mushroom. It's adorable and I love it. And then we have the very famous dog race, which everybody adores right now. Most of all, I just really like the squishy face. These stickers, by the way, are gigantic. And then I also just decided to buy these two illustrations because I thought they were very inspiring. And this is also from the same person which made this one, I think. And the person who made these two midder drawings is this person. Ah, so many wonderful drawings. I often find it hard to actually use these sticker designs because they're just so pretty. But I really want to come up with a nice display to show the sticker design, so hopefully I can use them more. So they actually have a purpose, other than keeping them forever and never using them for the purpose they were made. But for now, I will sit back and relax, and I hope you're doing the same. Christmas is also slowly coming closer and closer, and I would love to do Vlogmas. I'm not going to do every single day because December is the month where I'm going to prepare for exams, so no way I'm going to do daily vlogs. But I would like to try to do it weekly, so if you guys have any suggestions what we should do through the holiday, I would love to hear them. And also just know what you love to do through the holiday. You can, as always, support these videos by giving a thumbs up and leave a comment. Again, Christmas things to do, please. <laughs> As always, I do hope you guys are staying loving and caring. And no matter the time of the day or where you are, I hope you guys are ready for the dance party, which are starting right now. <laughs>